close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I Happy first day of Halloween at my house. Most people only celebrate Halloween on Halloween, but at my house, we celebrate Halloween all October. Got my daughter's cat ears on. Tried a new fall Halloween-y look. Let me know if you like it. Just a spur of the moment kind of thing. Today, we have a super fun video. And no, no, no. We are doing Vlogtober on our channel. If you don't know what Vlogtober is, that is posting a video every single day of October. Like fall themed videos, vlogs, Halloween-y type things. So much fun. It's gonna be awesome. Also, this week, I am leaving for a trip. It's just gonna be me. Ray's gonna be home with the kids. Uh, my parents are gonna be staying with kids while uh, Ray goes to work. I am going to Nashville. I'm super excited. I've been through Nashville before, but I've never actually been to Nashville, if that makes any sense. And when I went through Nashville, it was, I was, I was a kid, so I don't really remember. It was nighttime, so I'm going for a, I'm going for a convention type thing for a thing called Lady Boss, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to meet the Lady Boss ladies, and I'm probably gonna die on Saturday because it's um, kind of like a fitness retreat, and uh, we're gonna be working out on Saturday morning with the head Lady Boss who started it, and I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be able to keep up and I might keel over from exhaustion. I'm gonna be vlogging while I'm out in Nashville, um, seeing some sights and stuff and some of the fun things that I'm gonna do out there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I am a very introverted and shy person. Talking to a camera is great because there's not actually people here, <laughs> but being with people and being in crowds, it makes me really nervous and meeting new people makes me really nervous. So I'm kind of scared, but I'm trying to take this to get over my fear of socializing, I guess. Um, so anyways, today's video, we are doing a collaboration with my sister actually, and her channel, I will link down below. Her name is Victoria. She runs the channel, It's Once Upon a Mommy, and we're doing a collaboration of our top 13 favorite Halloween movies. What's the best time to watch Halloween movies? Um, if you live in my house, all the time but our favorite time is during the month of October. And we're doing this 13 nights of Halloween style with our top 13 movies. So I will link her channel and her video down below. Go check her out. I'm sure some of our movies are probably similar because we're very similar. It happens when you're sisters. So let's get into this. Stay tuned to find out what my favorite all-time Halloween movie is. Number 13, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Love, love Johnny Depp. It is a 2007 musical period horror film. It's directed by Tim Burton, who I also love. I love Tim Burton movies. There are quite a few of them on this list. It's adapted from a Tony award-winning 1979 musical of the same name. It tells the story of Sweeney Todd, an English barber and serial killer who murders his customers with a straight razor. And with the help of his friend and accomplice, Mrs. Lovett, they process their corpses into meat pies. I mean, with a price of meat, what it is. When you get it, if you get it. Ah, 
Good, you got it. The film stars Johnny Depp as Sweeney Todd and Helen Bonham Carter as Mrs. Lovett. I also love Helen Bonham Carter. She's awesome. So if you like musicals, you like horror, put them together, you got a really good movie. It's creepy, it's fun. It's just an all around good movie. Number 12. Beetlejuice. Who doesn't love Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice is a 1988 film directed by none other than Tim Burton. The plot revolves around a recently deceased couple played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. Gina Davis was one of my favorite actresses as a kid growing up because one of my favorite movies was A League of Their Own. I watch it with my mom all the time and Gina Davis just made it great. So that's one of the reasons why I love this movie so much. This young couple become ghosts haunting their former home and an obnoxious ghost named Beetlejuice who's portrayed by Michael Keaton another great actor from the netherworld who tried to scare away the inhabitants, played by Catherine O'Hara, Jeffrey Jones, and Winona Ryder. This movie has some great scenes in it. I love the scene in particular where they're at the dinner party and they're being made to dance. Yeah, you know the scene I'm talking about if you've seen this movie. Yes. All night on a drink of rum, Tarantula. <laughs> It's a great movie. It's fun. It's family friendly. It's kind of creepy sometimes. It's a great Halloween movie. Number 11. Any of the Harry Potter movies are great to watch at Halloween time. At my house, Harry Potter is an every season movie, every holiday movie, especially Halloween and Christmas. That series just is beloved in our house. Basically, Harry Potter, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Harry Potter is, Harry Potter is a boy whose parents were killed by Voldemort when he was a baby. He lives with his aunt and uncle who hate him and treat him like the dirt on the bottom of their shoe. He lives under the stairs. He gets taken taken away and sent to a wizarding school. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Where he meets friends, fights bad guys. It's just great. <laughs> Number 10, Monster House. My children love this movie. It's one of their favorite movies to watch at Halloween. It's a 2006 3D computer animated movie. It's an animated horror comedy film. The plot of this one is 12 year old DJ gets left home for the weekend with his babysitter Z. DJ has been spying on the elderly neighbor who confiscates any item that comes into his yard. After DJ's best friend Chowder loses his new basketball in Nebercracker's yard, DJ gets caught by Nebercracker trying to get it back. But the enraged homeowner has a heart attack and is taken away by an ambulance. That night, DJ eavesdropping on Z's boyfriend Bones. DJ hears him tell Z that when he was a kid, he lost his kite in Nebercracker's yard and that Nebercracker supposedly ate his wife. So DJ meets up with Chowder and they try to investigate the house, but they run away scared when the house comes alive and attacks them. <laughs> So if you haven't seen this movie, give it a try. Watch it with your kids. It's fun, it's a little sad at some point, but it's a really good watch for Halloween. Number nine is my daughter's absolute favorite Halloween movie to watch and she watches it any time of the year and that is Tim Burton Corpse Bride, which when she was little and she tried to say she wanted to watch Corpse Bride, she used to say Corpse Fries and it was just hilarious. This movie is a 2005 stop motion animated musical directed by Mike Johnson and Tim Burton. So the plot of The Corpse Bride is it's a village in Victorian England. Victor Van Dort is is the main guy and his voice is portrayed by Johnny Depp. He is the son of nouveau riche fish merchants and he is set to be married to Victoria Everglock. She is the neglected daughter of the stuck up aristocratic people who turns out are out of money. They are preparing for their arranged marriage which is to raise the social class of Victor's parents and give more wealth to Victoria's parents. And Victoria and Victor both seem kind of concerned about marrying somebody that they don't know. But once they meet 
they fall for each other. Victor ruins the wedding rehearsal because he's so fumbly and awkward and he's very shy and he keeps forgetting his vow and he flees into the forest to practice saying his vow. And he places the ring on an upturned root, but the root is not a root. It is the finger of a murdered woman in a tattered bridal gown named Emily, who rises from the grave saying that she is now Victor's wife. I do. Victor faints and he wakes up in the land of the dead. Victor then learns the story of Emily and how she was murdered on the night of her secret elopement. Victor spends his time trying to get back to Victoria for their wedding and my favorite scene is the very end when Emily finally finds peace. It's just a great movie, it's fun, it's heartwarming and a little sad. Great Halloween vibes. Number eight. The Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion is a 2003 comedy horror movie. It's based on the Disney Park ride Haunted Mansion. The movie stars Eddie Murphy, another one of my favorite actors as a child, Terrence Stamp, Nathaniel Parker, Marsha Thomason, and Jennifer Tilly. Jim and Sarah Evans, played by Eddie Murphy and Marsha Thomason, are successful realtors with two children. When Jim misses his anniversary with his wife, he tries to make amends by taking a vacation to a nearby lake. Beforehand, Sarah is contacted by the by the occupants of Gracie Manor, which is located in the Louisiana Bayou. Eager to make a deal, Jim drags his family to the manor. The owner, Edward Gracie, gives them all a tour and talks about his past and explains his grandfather's death after the suicide of his lover, Elizabeth Henshaw. They're trying to find out the past of the house and the people in the house. It's just a fun family Halloween movie to watch. Number seven. It was one of my favorite movies as a teenager and that was Twitches. So Twitches is a 2005 Disney Channel original movie. It was based on a popular book series called Twitches, which was published by Scholastic Press. The film starred Tia and Tamara Mowry, which I love their movies. I watch the show Sister Sister all the time. So in the movie Twitches, you start in the magical land of Coventry. A royal witch named Miranda gives birth to two identical twins on the night of Halloween. The sisters are named Apollo and Artemis after the Olympian twins Apollo and Artemis. Their father, a powerful warlock, transfers the entirety of his powers to protect them from the evil entity known as the darkness and he is killed in the process. Karsh and Ileana have taken on the task of protecting of protecting the twins and fleeing the magical realm to a non magical dimension known as Earth to give them up for adoption. Apollo is adopted by a wealthy couple and they change her name to Cameron while Artemis is adopted by a single mother and her, her name is changed to Alexandra or Alex. On their 21st birthday the sisters finally meet each other their magic is released. There's a costume party, there's magic, there's darkness. It's just a great movie. Number six is Practical Magic, and I'm pretty sure that my sister has this on her list too. She was the first person I ever watched this movie with. I love this movie. Practical Magic is a 1998 romantic comedy film, which is based off of a 1995 novel with the same name by Alice Hoffman. The film stars Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman, Stockard Channing, Diane Weiss, Aiden Quinn, and Goran Vishnish. I hope I said that right. I don't know. Bullock and Kidman play two sisters, Sally and Jillian Owens. These sisters have always known they were different. They were raised by their aunts after their parents died. They fed them chocolate cake for breakfast and taught them how to use practical magic. But being a member of the Owens family carries a curse. The men that they fall in love with are doomed to an untimely death. Now that they're adults, Sally and Jillian have to use all of their powers to fight the family curse. It's a great movie. It's got a lot of sisterly bonding. It's suspenseful and the ants are super fun. I love watching this and it makes me miss my sister every time I watch it. Number five is Casper. Casper is a perfect Halloween movie. 
Casper is a 1995 live action computer animated movie, a fantasy comedy. It's based on the Harvey comic Casper the Friendly Ghost. This film stars Christina Ricci, Bill Pullman, Kathy Moriarty, Eric Idle, and Amy Brenneman. It also features the voice of Malachi Pearson. In the movie, a paranormal expert and his daughter bunk in an abandoned haunted house populated by three mischievous ghosts and one friendly one. Number four is the Halloween Town movies. I started watching these when they first came out with my mom on Halloween, and it has just become a tradition to just watch them over and over again through the years. The story follows Marnie Piper, who finds out that she's a witch. And with her family, her brother and her sister and her grandma, they tried to save a town Full of supernatural creatures. They're from a town called Halloween Town, where it's Halloween all the time. The film stars Debbie Reynolds, Kimberly J. Brown, also starring Judith Hogue. The film came out in 1998. Number three is The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I consider this a Halloween classic movie. At my house, we watch this for Halloween and Christmas, just like Harry Potter, because it has both holidays in it, and it's just a great movie. The Nightmare Before Christmas came out in 1993. The storyline follows Jack Skellington, who's the king of Halloween town, and he discovers Christmas Town, and he loves it so much, he wants to bring that holiday to Halloween Town. But his attempts to bring Christmas to Halloween Town causes mass confusion. This is another Tim Burton film, and it's one of my all time favorites. Number two. This is not only one of my favorite Halloween movies, but also one of my favorite movies of all time, and that is Sleepy Hollow, which is another Tim Burton film. Sleepy Hollow came out in 1999, and it follows Ichabod Crane, who is a detective, and he is sent to Sleepy Hollow to investigate the decapitation of three people, with the culprit being the legendary apparition, the Headless Horseman. It stars Johnny Depp as Ichabod Crane, Christina Ricci as Katrina Van Tassel. It's just a great, creepy, movie and it is perfect for Halloween. And my number one all-time favorite Halloween movie ever to watch on Halloween is Hocus Pocus. And I watch this at least four times in October and I always watch it on Halloween night. I love this movie so much. My kids know when Hocus Pocus is on, everybody be quiet and everybody watches the movie. Hocus Pocus came out in 1993. It is a comedy fantasy directed by Kenny Ortega. It stars Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy, I hope I said her last name right, and Sarah Jessica Parker. In the movie, it starts off in 1693 on October 31st near Salem, Massachusetts. Thackeray Binks sees his little sister, Emily, speared away to the cottage of three witches. The Sanderson sisters, Winifred, Sarah, and Mary, cast a spell on Emily to absorb her youth so they could regain their own youth, which killed her in the process. Thackeray confronts the witches, and they transform him into an immortal black cat who lives his life with his guilt for not saving his sister. The townsfolk, who are led by Binks's father, they capture the witches. Before they hang them, Winifred casts a curse that will resurrect the witches during a full moon on All Hallows' Eve when a virgin lights the black flame candle. Thackeray makes it his mission to guard the cottage so no one ever summons the witches. 300 years later on Halloween, Max Dennison, who has just been uprooted from his home in Los Angeles to move to Salem with his family. Max is made to take his younger sister trick-or-treating and they run into Max's new crush, Allison. Allison mentions that her family runs the Sanderson Sister Museum. Mac, wanting to impress this girl, suggests that she show him the Sanderson sister cottage to convince him that the witches are real. While investigating the cottage, Mac pulls a bonehead move and lights the black flame candle, which resurrects the witches and they come to take their revenge out on the town. With the help of Thackeray and his sister Danny and Allison, he fight the witches. Find out what happens next by watching the movie if you haven't already. If you have, tell me how much you love it down below. Or if you don't love it, you can tell me that too. So those are my top 13 favorite Halloween movies. 
Comment down below and tell me what your favorite Halloween movies are. And tell me why. If you like some of these, tell me that too. If you don't like some of these, tell me that too. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! Finding life along the way.